prepped out right here, Reuben. Getting all the all the utensils and stuff we're gonna need. Plastic right here. See, throw it in the bucket. So we at today. We're at Pelican Island, Galveston, Texas, down here at the end near Seawolf Park, which is about a thousand feet that way. Um, which you're, you're probably wondering why I got this rope. Um, we got tires that we're gonna pull out of there and a bunch of uh, wood. Hey, fishermen, we're out here doing this for you too, so you can come out and give us a hand anytime when uh, we post these uh, cleanings. You can come out with Solver So Short Patrol and give us a hand. Um, Ruben, come with me and let's look at this. I did, I got two hours of before shots. I walked all up and down this shore four times. I know, just one out. tire. One freaking tire. How much easier it would be to do the right thing with it? I know. And this looks like it's probably the same per person. Gotta be. I don't know Somebody would have used tire shop, just come here and just tossed them. Like, I know where to go. So what time do we start? Uh, I don't know. Only about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Nah, probably longer than that. Maybe about 20. So 30 minutes, how many bears you fill in? Buckets you fill up? This is, this will be my third one. Third one? So a bucket, 10 minutes. Granted, I'm like and, the, and the problem is, over here, is that it's all in between everything. Right. So unlike the, unlike the last cleanup, where you're supposed to, you could fill a bucket in five minutes, this is all little stuff that's all between the rocks. And you practically have to be a goat to maneuver comfortably. A mountain goat to move comfortably, comfortably on these rocks. 10 gallons, 20 gallons. Really? Oh, yeah. Is it still Just full? Just whenever they came to dump the tires, they dumped the gas. Yeah. No kidding. Dumped their oil, too. They ain't going for two. 
That boy, you know, you see these guns? You see the gun show over here? My brother will do it. <laughs> hey, look at you at the right place. Hey, Next. Hey, you gotta show the girls. What's up? The girls, what the hell? He said my brother would do it. <laughs> nice. That's, that's 24 between here and there. That's a lot of tires. Six carloads. Want to hand me that bucket? I'll dump it for you. It's pretty tapped out. area for about an hour <laughs> trying to yeah trying to get all this all that little bits of styrofoam that are just waiting to trying to fix it heat it up so when it wow when it rains stuff comes down this draw right here and then when the tide comes up it pushes it back right here so it's like a catch point of Stuff that floats. And, uh, it's like a catch all right here, it's yeah? A catch all right yep. here, exactly. A catch all. Exactly the word. <clears throat> so who, who we got out here with us today? Jared, Esley. I call him Easley. Everyone does. Easley? Yeah. I thought it was Easley. He told me he was going to hit me with a bucket if I called him easily again, so I stopped. So how'd you get involved, Jared? You don't mind me asking? Oh, man, I just, uh, man, same thing as Billy, just tired of seeing trash everywhere. Bond decided, you know, if he did something about it, so, you know, I can do something about it. Yep, that's good stuff, dude. That's, good, that's called inspiring, man. That's what you did to me. Inspired. Inspired, come on out. Come join, come join us. I'm not, we don't get paid to do this. This is, we're losing money doing this, man. Jared could have had a guy today, you know? What are those? Hold on. <laughs> I didn't phone wrong, but what are those? Straws, caps, the same stuff that I find in the bayou, that I find in the, the ditches. They go to the, let me, see, let me see that bucket, I'm gonna go empty it. Yeah, I'm using it as a ladder, or a, an armrest here. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna move this rock right here. See what? This is like treasure hunting here. Like, yeah, move some rocks and root. Watch when you move some rocks, you find more trash. Look at this. I guess he went to go give me another bucket. Yeah. Or change them out. Yes. Yeah, well, watch this. Dumped. You move some rocks and look. Here it is. There's all the trash. This is stuff you don't never see. You drive by these spots. Ask me how many buckets I cleaned up in this little 20 foot area. Six? Six buckets, 20 feet. We just filled a whole bag, just this area. Yeah, yeah, so what do you do, Jared? I'm a kayak fishing guide out of Galveston Freeport area. Did about six years now. Um, artificial, side casting, redfish, flounder, pretty much everything. So where can they find you at? Um, I got a website, uh, Tales and Scales uh, Galveston Fishing, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and all that as well. Um, get through, get a contact with me through, like I said, my Facebook as well, Instagram. And yeah, pretty much uh, six hour trips in the morning, uh, sometimes evening, the weather's good. You usually start at daylight, fish till about 12, 12 30. And this guy, he has some great work out there too. I know you sell prints as well, right? 
yeah, I take a lot of uh, you know, photos, stuff like that, while I'm out of the water, get some pretty cool stuff, and uh, get them on canvas blinds to people, put them in their offices, bedrooms, pretty much anywhere. Yeah, so check them out. I'll leave links for all the stuff, all his information below. He came out nonstop, worked hardcore in the rocks, picking all the trash up, came out with Saltwater Soul, Shore Patrol. I know he get, this man could catch a lot of fish. They get on fish all the time. So check him out. You'll see what I'm talking about. So we just finished cleaning up the area right outside of Seawood Park. Um, check out Saltwater Soul. They have tremendous amount of apparel. Just some really, really cool and kick butt stuff. Um, check out Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol. Started by Billy Ray Wagner. And, um, and let me tell you, man, he is just all over it. He is cleaning. I know I talked to him uh, this week and he told me in five days he cleaned 60 drains in the Galveston area. Uh, you know, he, he'll see trash and he gets tired of driving by, so he'll jump out and pick it up. You know, he's been doing this for about four years now, um, but he just spearheaded this organization called Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol. So check him out, Instagram, Facebook, get out there, support him. You can uh, drop off donations at his store in Galveston, or, um, or you can DM him and contact him. I know he always replies uh, if you're interested in, in taking part of the next cleanup or you're just simply interested in making a donation. So check them out. And you know what? This is coming out here and cleaning up. I'm going to be honest with you. It is a blast. It is a blast. We have great people that come out, great volunteers. Um, you know, everybody just sacrifice uh, one day, a few hours in the morning. You come out, pick up some junk, pick up some trash. And, um, yeah, and you, you help the community, help the future generations, help the wildlife. You know, it's a win, 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 win. So come out, check them out. Um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. 
hit that bell notification um, any links every links all the links are below check don't forget to check out Jared you know a lot of people not too sure they kind of want to get into kayaking they're not too sure how they want to kayak fish or if they want to kayak fish well you know what there's a great chance for you to get out there with the guide get out there on the water spend six hours out there and uh, and you can see what the kayak fishing and fishing in a kayak is all about and let me tell you that guy is can put you on some great fish and he has some great work out there some great prints and canvas prints and artwork out there a lot of great photography so check him out check out Billy Ray saltwater soul short patrol and um thanks thanks for coming back and hopefully we'll see you next time